riding through vineyards on a motorcycle. Eva Fulmer likes to be unconventional. Born in Mainz 28 years ago, she took just two years to become one of Germany's most successful woman winemakers. The Go Mio Wine Guide has dubbed her its 2010 Discovery of the Year, the first time a woman has held the title. Women put more emotion into it. This is a very new wine growing estate, so I've got nothing to lose. I can do things the way I want, whether it's marketing or bottling or the style of the wine itself. There's a lot of Eva Folma in each bottle. Her family has owned the vineyards for a long time, but until two years ago, they still gave their grapes to a grower's cooperative. Eva Folma changed that. In 2008, she produced her first wine with great success. Her secret? Female intuition. Is this wine the way I had imagined it? Does it need more time to mature? Can I bottle it now or can I wait? It's a bit like having a small child in the wine cellar whose development you're trying to monitor and control. Eva set up her wine cellar on her parents' farm. It's small but modern. She says you don't always need a long-standing tradition to make good wine. I'm quite satisfied with this wine here, a Silvana selection. It can take a bit of still maturing in casks, and then it'll be bottled in September. Even though her parents weren't vintners, Eva Vollmer was interested in winemaking early on. In 2003, as Rheinhessen Wine Queen, she promoted the region's top wines. Now she's producing wine herself. With training in wine production, a diploma, and soon a doctorate, Eva has secured her place in what was once a domain dominated by men. In a blind tasting, you couldn't tell the difference between a man's wine and a woman's wine. But the decision-making process is slightly different. I think women decide much more emotionally. At least, I noticed that in my own case. 50 kilometers away. Langen Lohnsheim in the Naha Valley. This is where Annette Klosheim produces premium German wines. The 32 year old comes from a traditional winemaking family and thinks the success of young women makes sense. For one thing, women are very ambitious. They have sensitive palates and a good sense of smell. It's been scientifically proven that women are better wine tasters, and those are prerequisites for making good wine later on. On her parents' 150-year-old estate, Annette Klosheim learned a lot about professional winemaking. Later, she studied the wine business in London, among other places. Then she took over a part of her father's vineyards. He didn't immediately fling his arms around my neck. At first, he was very skeptical and kept a critical eye on what was going on in the vineyards. But with my first success, winning the Riesling Discovery of the Year organized by a large magazine, he was a very proud father indeed. Annette Klosheim wants to reach new target groups with her wines, for instance, young people who are intimidated by the knowledge of wine connoisseurs. So, in tastings, she avoids the abstract jargon used by aficionados. I just try to point out opportunities for enjoying wine. I give them recipes to go with the wine, for example. Those are just small aspects in which I go my own way. Or take labeling. Mine is definitely more modern, lighthearted and livelier, in order to attract young people in particular. Two women, two concepts, and one all-consuming passion. With unconventional methods, Annette Klosheim and Eva Vollmer are both working on their next premium.